But for the New York Knicks, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that this is an agenda-driven one. Not, not as much about the whole team or anything, but my number is 3.77. So among the 266 players who have logged at least 400 minutes this season, only Rudy Gobert has more dunks per 36 minutes than Obi Toppin. Hell yeah. Toppin's at 3.77. Rudy Gobert's at 3.83. Rest of the top 10, JaVale McGee at 3.75. Daniel Gafford, Jared Allen, Montrez Harrell, Mitchell Robinson, Robert Williams, Hassan Whiteside, and Clint Capella. You know, I don't, I don't think there's anything particularly notable about this stat, except give Obi Toppin more minutes. Stop making him put up highlights at the end of games that are already decided. He has something to contribute on offense, and I want to see more of it. I think he could deserve more minutes, too. I do think they've increased his role to where I don't really get mad about his minutes. I might say... Is he playing 40 a game? No, that's only... I mean, I guess... So you I should have... get mad about it. <laughs> I, can't, I feel I like know. my voice is getting gravelier and gravelier <laughs> as we get to the Tom Thibodeau coach team. So uh, I feel I'm, like this is appropriate. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I've ever been less reliable for basketball takes than I have over the past like two and a half to three <laughs> weeks. And I hope, I think everyone should just self-admit that they probably belong under the same umbrella because of how inconsistent availability has been. But uh, look, if we want to go the other agenda route, I'm just going to reiterate a stat I made before. There are four players attempting four off the dribble threes per game and shooting 37% or better. Kemba, Trey Young, Steph, and Darius Garland, I think were the names. I know three of those names are right. And one of the three that you're, are right. No, you're exactly Kemba right. Yeah. So, you're exactly so yeah, right. Kemba is playing now out of necessity. Derek Rowe is being injured, players and health and safety protocols. I don't think people claimed when anyone argued that Evan Fournier should have been benched instead of Kemba, that no one was watching the Knicks. I don't know that benching either one of them was the answer. I just don't think that benching Kemba Walker made all that much sense is where I stood. I think this team is in need of something that we can't even quantify at this point, other than an increase in minutes for Obi Toppin. That's the one thing that we can point to and say, why isn't he playing? 100%. And I'm I'm going to be honest. I tried to go even deeper here and tried to show that Obi Toppin was actually the most impressive high volume dunker in the NBA this season. (laughs) I can't because he's been assisted on 89% of his dunks and Gobert's at 87%. So there's just, I can't make the case. 